took a little bacon and it took a little beans and they caught the bloody British in a town in New Orleans. What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to the Beautiful Beer Beer Channel. We are back for another review. Today we're going to jump back into another Fairhope beer and if you remember the Big Show Double IPA beer, you remember that Fairhope contacted me on Reddit, sent me some beers to review from their tap room, things that I can't get. Fairhope is in Lower Alabama and this is one that I'm super excited about. I love sweet potatoes. And this is their Sweet Potato Imperial Porter coming in. I think it's 7.4, 7.5% ABV. Um, one of the things about these beers is they are taproom only, so they came in a crowler. I stink at pouring crowlers, so I'm sure that I'll spill this, um, but we're going to try. My wife said it was fine if I spilled it on this. It would be okay. So into the glass we go. Um, I've had some Sweet Potato beers before, and... Sometimes they are very disappointing. Um, one of the ones from Funky Buddha, I was not a fan of, and I wanted to be a fan of it. I did better. Still spilled a little though. Let's stop right hey, there. Hey, sorry about that. We had a minor emergency. Um, my little one was napping, wife was getting ready, and um, anyway, big deal real quick. But anyway, we'll pour a little bit more so we can kind of get the head on this thing as it was. It was about, I think when, we, when it cut away, it was about three, two and a half fingers of this off-white mocha head. Um, as I said, this is a Sweet Potato Imperial Porter. I've had disappointing Sweet Potato beers before, but Fairhope has generally put out a lot of solid things, so I'm super excited about trying this one. All right, sits in the glass, super dark. I would say really, really dark brown, a little bit of ruby edges, um, some light coming through on the edges of the glass, but nothing, it doesn't look thin at all. Leaving a little alcohol legs on the side, some good lacing going on in the glass. You guys can see that. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, it smells like a big sweet chocolate porter. A little bit of that sweet potato nose on it, not chemically tasting at all. Um, I did not do any research, which I probably should have, but I'm guessing they use real sweet potatoes. And not like a flavoring. This smells really good. It's a sweet chocolate, that roasted porter smell, and a little bit of sweet potato. All right, let's get a taste on this thing. Well, let me get another sip. Sorry about the silence there, I was really thinking. I wanna give accurate reviews you know, on these things, especially since a brewery sent them to me. I don't want anybody to think that you can, um, that because somebody, something gets sent to me, that I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's amazing. Um, I see people do that with larger breweries, um, and it, it's irritating. You know, I would almost, if I graded beers, I would almost never give a beer somebody sent me 100, just because I don't wanna look like you bought me, if that makes any sense. The mouthfeel on this, y'all, is pleasant. It's it's so typical to get a porter that is light on the mouthfeel as opposed to being just a little bit fuller, and this one is. It's a little medium minus. It's so close to being medium, but medium minus. Finish, it's the front end is a sweet milk chocolate. The back end is this dark, bitter roast that kind of lingers on the tongue. I'm searching for I'm searching for sweet potato, and I mean, it is so, so faint. Yeah, so here's the thing. This is a good porter, it's really good. But if you're gonna go into it and you're gonna think, man, I'm gonna get a sweet potato beer, and it's gonna taste a whole lot like sweet potatoes, it's not there, not for me. Um, there is a sweet chocolate up front, a good roasty, dark, um, dark bitter flavor at the end of like dark chocolate. Mid palate, there's a hint of sweet potato. But it is, um, it's not, it's just not big sweet potato for me. Yep. 
Solar offering for a porter, I think a lot of people would appreciate this. Just don't go into it thinking you're going to get a huge amount of sweet potato. I think that's it. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.